I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on trigonometry. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos, taking keen interest, and also sharing their doubts. Here is a question from one of our subscribers who wants me to answer this question, which is question number 13, page 437 from the book Advanced Functions Nelson. I hope the solution of this will help many others. The question here is, Natasha is a marathon runner and she likes to train on a 2 pi kilometer stretch of rolling hills. The height in kilometers of the hill above the sea level relative to her home can be modeled by the function h of t equals to 4 cos square d minus 1, where d is the distance traveled in kilometers. At what intervals in the stretch of rolling hill is the height above the sea level related to Natasha's home less than zero? So the last statement is kind of tricky, which is at what intervals in the stretch of rolling hills is the height above the sea level, which is h of t, related to Natasha's home less than zero, right? So that's what we need to figure out. So I hope. Now the statement is absolutely clear. So let's uh, make a rough sketch of uh, this height function and that will help us to really uh, answer the question better. So what we have here is that cosine squares, we are looking for a function which is h of d equals to 4, amplitude is 4, cos square d minus 1. That means, uh, uh, let me first sketch a rough diagram, right? So, 4 cos square d minus 1. That means the axis has moved 1 unit down, right? Let's say this is 1 unit down. Now, from here, 4 is the amplitude. So, from minus 1, we go 4 up, right? So that is minus 1. And from here, we go 4 up. So 1, let's say 1, 2, 3, right? So that will be 4 up. So that becomes the maximum. Now 4 cos square d basically means the wave is, uh, cosine wave is positive, then moved 1 unit up, right? So normally it will go down, but because of the square term, it is going to be always above minus 1, correct? So the sketch of this particular function will be kind of like this, starting from here, kind of like this, right? Now instead of going here like this, it will again come up and so it will be kind of like this. Do you see? So that will be cos square d minus 1 times 4. Is that clear to you? So that is going to be the function, perfect, and likewise it will go like this, perfect. Now we are looking for the points when it is below this. Now when you say that uh, less than zero, right, less than zero will mean we are actually looking for these points. So these are the points. So we are looking the x-intercepts. When is this 0? Less than 0 and that too in the interval of 2 pi. So, so one wave will basically be from here going up to, uh, so this will be like uh, to this point. Let me just complete this portion right Let's So up to this point. So we have uh, 2 pi there, correct? Okay? So up to this point. So we are looking for these intercepts. Is that clear to you? So this is the duration when it is below 0 relative to sea level. Correct? Okay? So let's find these zeros first, right? So find zeros, we'll get this to 0 equals to 4 cos square d minus 1. 
Taking 1 on this side gives us 4 cos square d. Dividing by 4, we get this as cos square d. Taking square root, we have to do plus minus square root of 1 over 4, which is cos d. I mean d, okay. So that gives you solutions, four solutions, correct? So what is d equals to? So d equals to cos inverse of plus minus 1 over 2, right? Perfect. So that is how we are going to get the solution. And to get the angle, when is cos half? Well, this is the angle, special triangle, where this angle will be pi by 3, right? So this is half, correct? So that really means that this point here is pi by 3, right? So, so we get first positive as pi by 3. So if you're looking for these solutions, what we're trying to say here is that the solutions are these. So these are the points, correct? These are the points. So that is pi by 3 for us. This is 2 pi by 3. 3 pi by 3, that becomes 4 pi by 3. And this is 5 pi by 3, correct? So that is 1 pi by 3, this is 2 pi by 3, right? That becomes 4 pi by 3, this becomes 5 pi by 3. So diagram is not accurate, but it gives you an idea. So the answer will be that this distance d is when it is greater than pi by 3 and less than 2 pi by 3, right? And when d is greater than 4 pi by 3 and less than 5 pi by 3. Is that clear to you? So these are the durations when the height will be less than the sea level. Is that clear? So that is how we are going to solve it. I hope you appreciate it. Feel free to write your comments, share your views. If you have more questions, don't hesitate. I'll provide you a solution at the earliest. Thanks for your time and all the best.